We also are eager to involve Indian investigators in sites in global clinical trials to evaluate the safety and efficacy of various COVID-19 therapeutics. I very much appreciate being invited to help launch this seminar on learning from COVID-19 experiences and to make a few comments about our important and ongoing Indo-United States infectious diseases research collaborations. First, please accept my sincere empathy for the extremely difficult public health crisis India is currently facing. As you know, the United States was in a similar position several months ago before vaccines became available. With the discovery and use of effective vaccines achieved in record time, we all now understand the critical role that science plays in addressing such a crisis. I trust that today's meeting will help garner additional support for research and innovation as the source of public health and medical interventions that will end this devastating pandemic. The National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases has a long history of collaboration with our counterpart agencies in the government of India. Under the long-standing Indo-US Vaccine Action Program, we will continue to work with India on research related to SARS-CoV-2 vaccines and adjuvants. We also are eager to involve Indian investigators in sites in global clinical trials to evaluate the safety and efficacy of various COVID-19 therapeutics. The U.S.-India partnerships between the NIH and India's Department of Biotechnology, as well as with the Indian Council of Medical Research, have helped produce important scientific and public health discoveries in the past. I am confident they will continue to do so in the future. India's contributions to global scientific knowledge are well known to all. With strong governmental support and a vibrant biopharma private sector, this knowledge already is yielding solutions to COVID-19 prevention and care. From my point of view, to control the pandemic, we must do even more to discover and test safe and effective therapeutics and vaccines. This means that it is critical for all of us to do everything we can to facilitate the rapid implementation of this research. As for the subject of this meeting, I would just highlight a few lessons I have learned from our COVID-19 experience. First, to prevent and control infectious disease, we must rely on well-designed and validated scientific approaches to guide effective public health and clinical practice. Second, international cooperation and collaboration are essential to advance scientific discovery and to manage global health threats. Third, research is greatly enhanced when the public sector and government work together and combine their strengths. Fourth, we must address inequities in our health systems so that future epidemics are not a burden primarily borne by disadvantaged populations. And finally, we all need to make sure that the public receives accurate evidence-based guidance from health officials and political leadership. I hope these and other lessons learned will be more thoroughly discussed over the next few hours, and I look forward to hearing the outcome of this seminar. And in closing, I want to express appreciation for our long-standing Indo-US partnerships and pledge 
that NIAID will continue its commitment to this collaboration, which greatly benefits our two countries and the entire world.